Hello there. Welcome back. It is time for the Morning Mindset. I'm glad you're with me, friends. This is Kerry Green. We are here to align our minds with the truth of God so that our acting, our living, our, our actions today can be aligned with His truth as well. And when our actions align with His truth, that's when we're a blessing in the world and where we're able to bring about good in the lives of our families and friends and neighbors and so on and so forth. Friends, I'm glad you are here. Today, we're going to be looking at Proverbs chapter 11, verse number 3. But before we do that, I want to say a special hello to people who are all around the globe. You see, my podcast host, where I store the audio files, has stats that show me the different countries where people are listening. It doesn't show me any more information about them than that, but just shows what country they're in. And we have people listening in Portugal. We have people listening in Germany. We have people listening in Croatia. We have people in Kazakhstan in the Democratic Republic of the Congo, in Bolivia, in Colombia, in the United States, just people all over the world. Thank you so much for joining us for The Morning Mindset. Thank you for being part of The Morning Mindset family. Now, as we dig in today, I want us to think in terms of that kind of a scope for the the truth that we're being taught here from God's Word. This truth is going out into all the world, and it, God wants everyone across the world to receive it because it's His truth, and it's meant for all of mankind. It doesn't matter the ethnicity or the nationality or where in the world you live. These truths are God's truths for you. Proverbs chapter 11, verse number 3 says, The integrity of the upright guides them, but the crookedness of the treacherous destroys them. So let me read that again and give this some deep thought as, you, as you're listening. The integrity of the upright guides them, but the crookedness of the treacherous destroys them. So he's talking about two different types of people. Upright people, which you get the idea of a person standing up straight, a person who has character and conviction and, and lives rightly in God's eyes. And then the contrasting characterization he gives here is someone who's treacherous. Now that word, we, we might use it when we're talking about a road or a path. It was a treacherous road. It means it was very dangerous. It was very uh, windy and, and perhaps potholes and rainy and that kind of thing. It means it was a dangerous circumstance. Well, he's describing people as treacherous. People who are risky, who are dangerous, who are, who are kind of living on the edge when it comes to their morality and their way of approaching life. And of these two people, he's describing a certain characteristic that each of them has. Of the upright, he says, they have integrity. Now, what is integrity? Well, it comes from the word integrated, which is all things that are a part of it are being woven together and work together in harmony. And so a person who is a person of integrity is consistent in their behavior. Their moral standards match their actions. You see, it's a person who lives an upright life, and that's why he calls them the upright. And so what is he saying about them? He's saying the integrity of the upright guides them. So they're the reality that they are an integrated person who lives consistent with their convictions, that is what guides them. It's like a moral compass that God has placed within them to live consistently with the good principles, the godly values that God has instilled in their soul. Now, the contrasting person, the treacherous, it says they have a character trait as well, and it's crookedness. So, the treacherous person is a person who behaves in a crooked way, meaning, yes, they may be a crook, but they may be a person who's never been arrested, never been in trouble with the law, yet they tell white lies, they manipulate, They try to coerce people into things for their own benefit. You see, a treacherous person is a person who practices that kind of behavior. And it says, the crookedness of the treacherous destroys them. So stop for a moment and think about that. Did you realize that things like white lies and manipulation, however subtle it may be, have a destructive power? They're gnawing away at the person's soul and drawing them deeper and deeper and deeper into dishonesty and into a sinful way of living, into a treacherous way of life. Obviously, Solomon is telling us here, we want to be these upright people. And God, by his grace, has given us Jesus Christ to enable us to be upright people. 
He's filled us with his Holy Spirit to empower us to be that way. So today, I'm going to encourage you, walk into the day saying to yourself this truth, I am a person of integrity because Jesus has made me that way. And Jesus, please remind us through the day that that's who we are. Fill us up with thoughts of our true identity in you, that your characteristics are ours because we simply and humbly trust you. Jesus, use that knowledge to bless the world around us today. We ask it in your precious name. Amen.